Right guys, Gaft is back with the explanation to the self-working ACAN kind of card trick. You are going to need to do it the way I did it, a crimped card. Crimp jack of spades from the top down. And then you're going to want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. They're going to sit on top of the crimp. That is going to sit on top of the deck because you want the spectator's chosen card to end up ninth position from the bottom. So if you've got a crimp and uh, seven cards above the crimp, the spectator's chosen card will end up in the ninth position. So you can give these cards a bit of a false um, cut if you want, or you could give them a riffle shuffle, just not disturbing your top stock. Spectators then got a free choice. Let's say they pick this card. The King of Diamonds. While they're looking at the King of Diamonds, you're going to swing cut a small portion of cards. As long as it's more than your crimp. They're going to place their King on the top. You'll drop these on top. And now you've got a good portion of cards above your crimp. So you can give these a bit of a shuffle just to lose their card. Throw this down and at some point you're going to cut at your crimp. So as long as your jack is on the bottom, the king will be the knight from the bottom. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's the king. As long as it's there, the rest of the trick will work. You'll now just say to your spectator, look, we're gonna, I'm gonna count from 10 down to one, turning cards over, counting, and if a corresponding card is, um, if my count corresponds to the card value, we'll stop. So you're gonna go 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. If none of the numbers and cards match, when you get to the end, you'll place a card on top and you'll do it again. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. There's a four, we'll keep the four. We'll do it again. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. There's another four, one more time. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, we'll blank it off. Now all you do is add up these digits and deal that many cards, that's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the eighth card will be the spectator's chosen card. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. We'll try it again. Oh, turn these over. Now, I've never been into a situation when you haven't actually got a corresponding card and all the piles are blanked out. So let's see what would happen if that happened in the real world. So you've got your crimp, seven cards above that on the top. Spectator's got a free choice. The queen of spades. Swing cut a small portion, more than your crimp. Put the card in. Give it a shuffle. As long as you don't shuffle past your crimp. Stop there. Cut at your crimp and then just go through that process. So let's just, for instance, say that we don't come up with any numbers. 10. So let's not think that's a 10. And we go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. No matching. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. No match. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. No match. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. No match. Is that the next card? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, so it would have been this card, wouldn't it? The Queen of Spades. So I take it and I don't know what would happen in a situation like that. Um, you would know yourself that this card would be the spectator's card. So I guess then you could pick up these four cards and go into some sort of um, way of revealing this card. I've never been in a situation when you've blanked off all of the cards, but just let it be known that if this does happen, the card you use to blank off this last packet will be the spectator's card. So that's how I did it guys. Um, just a crimp, a few cards, a bit of a fake cut and a shuffle, and the rest is self working. So make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the Gaft Academy, post notifications on and we'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.